Channing Tatum is a popular American model, actor, director, and more recently, children's book author. He has won numerous film awards, including Critics' Choice Awards, Kids' Choice Awards, and MTV Movie Awards. In 2012, he was named People's Sexiest Man Alive following his performance in Magic Mike, a film based on his experience as an exotic dancer. But from whom did he get his Hollywood looks? Let's find out on how you came to be. Channing Matthew Tatum was born April 26, 1980 in Cullman, Alabama to Rosa K. Faust and Glenn Tatum. Glenn Tatum worked in construction and Kay worked as an airline stewardess. Glenn Tatum is the son of Hudson Samuel Tatum and Avis Hunt. They were married November 12, 1942 in Montgomery, Alabama. Hudson enrolled in the army in 1939, just as Hitler was entering Poland, and by 1944 he was stationed in England where he supervised the preparation of meals for the Air Force. As World War II raged, Avis cared for their young daughter, hoping and waiting for her husband's safe return. Hudson did safely return, and they were married until Avis's death in 1981. Hudson Tatum was the son of Eugene Tatum, who was born September 13, 1889 in Ottawa, Alabama. Eugene was a farmer, and he married Josephine Hunt on March 21, 1909, and they had eight children. It does not appear that Josephine has any relation to her daughter-in-law, Avis Hunt. This photo shows Eugene and Josephine with all of their children. I was not able to conclusively determine which son was Channing's grandfather, Hudson, but there is a striking resemblance to the man kneeling in the front. Josephine had an interesting family story. Her brother Hicks Hunt murdered his estranged wife Tula in 1944 in the street outside of the factory where the two worked different shifts by shooting her at point-blank range six times. When asked why he did it, he said that she ruined his life. Hicks was sentenced to death, but his death sentence was commuted to life in prison in 1946 by the Alabama governor through court proceedings which Josephine attended. Eugene Tatum was the son of James Thomas Tatum, who was born May 16, 1858, in Ottawa, Alabama. He married Martha Fanny Anderson on his 20th birthday. She was 18. James and Martha had 16 children and eventually 45 grandchildren. Here we see the family in front of their home in the early 1900s. There are 12 children pictured here. I believe Eugene is on the far right. Martha passed away on Eugene's 41st birthday in 1930, and James passed away from pneumonia in 1939. James Thomas Tatum's father, William Lewis, was born March 27, 1832. He married Sarah Scott on January 3, 1856. In the 1860 U.S. Census, William can be seen living with his wife and three young children next door to his parents, James Thomas and Martha. Interestingly, neither William nor Sarah nor his parents were able to read. This is the first white family I have studied unable to read in 1860, something often thought of as a product of slavery. On June 2, 1862, 30-year-old William enlisted to serve in the Civil War. However, within weeks, he contracted typhoid fever. Typhoid is a bacterial infection that causes fever, stomach pain, and diarrhea. William died at his home just two months after enlisting on August 1, 1862, leaving Sarah to raise their five children, ages eight to five months, alone. The Tatum family has a long history of succumbing to illness. The family can be traced back to William Tatum, born in London in 1564. In 1603, William and his wife Ellen, along with their children, were living in London when the plague broke out in the city. To try to combat the spread, King James dictated several orders before leaving the city himself, including eating vinegar, butter, cinnamon, and onions, which were thought to help stave off the illness. Purging and bloodletting were recommended, as was wearing an early form of a mask dipped in vinegar. Of course, these suggestions did little to stop the fleas from spreading the disease through the unsanitary streets of the city. The London Plague of 1603 killed 25% of the population of London, including William and his wife Ellen, their seven-year-old son Jerome, and one-year-old son Nehemiah, who all died within weeks of each other. William's son Nathaniel was only four years old at the time of his parents' death. It is said that he became an orphan at Bridewell Hospital in London, which housed vagrant children. It is hard to imagine the struggles that young Nathaniel may have faced on the medieval streets of London and later at the crowded, cold Bridewell Hospital. In 1618, Bridewell Hospital sent a group of children to board the ship the George, which set sail to the colonies, arriving in Virginia in March of 1619. 
It is said that Nathaniel was one of these children, though he was approximately 20 years old at the time. Thus, the Tatum family's ties to the United States predates the Mayflower by over a year, and Channing's first American ancestor was an orphan of the plague. On Channing's maternal side, his mother, Rosa K. Faust, was a cheerleader who was voted most popular at Wetumpka High School. Wetumpka, Alabama is the town selected through a nationwide search to be restored by Aaron and Ben Napier in the HGTV series Hometown Takeover. Kay's father, Bascom Floyd Faust, was born January 18, 1904. In 1930, he worked as a guard at a convict camp. He married Maisel Allen in October of 1938 and eventually operated a store just north of Wetumpka. Bascom's father, Amariah Biggs Faust, was born August 28, 1879. He married Rosella Rhodes on January 24, 1901. This photo is of the couple and their oldest child, Mary. Mary died shortly after this photo was taken at the age of one and a half. In the wake of this loss, Amariah and Rosella would go on to have nine more children. Amariah was the son of William Lemuel Faust, who was born October 31, 1844, in Georgia. William served in the Confederate Army and participated in many battles, including the Battle of Fredericksburg, until he was captured by Union soldiers during the Battle of Gettysburg. William was held as a prisoner of war for almost two years, until his release in June of 1865. He married Missouri Ellen Stubbs, and they had seven children. William died in 1884 at the age of 39, when Amariah was just five years old. The Faust family can be traced back to Johann Peter Faust, who was born in Kirchberg, Germany on July 22, 1741. Johann and his family were likely recruited by agents of the colonies and made their way to South Carolina, where land was cheap and plentiful and free from the turmoil of a disjointed Germany. Channing Tatum's family tree spans the Deep South, from Alabama to Georgia to South Carolina. The Tatum family predates the Pilgrims, with Nathaniel Tatum, an orphan of the plague, being the first to arrive. The Faust family came later from Germany, which eventually led to William Faust being a prisoner of the Civil War for over two years. But despite these many challenges on both sides of his family, Channing's ancestors persevered, becoming popular and well-liked from Wetumpka to Hollywood.